I remember the toilet was a pit latrine. We never have no flush toilet and then some there. Remember when you go in there, so I use the mega be explicit guys, a beer cockroach. Beer cockroach lizard. And I mean that's what I grew up in. You know, and I think that is what motivated me to you know to want better for myself because Welcome back to my channel. I'm when you're feeling down and your mind is under pressure, don't you worry, cause I know it will get better. So speak life and it will turn out in your favor. Just wanna let you know that this will make you stronger. You know, see the old yet, claim it. If you don't see the money yet, claim it. If you don't see the land yet, claim it. If you don't see the job yet, claim it. If you don't see promotion yet, if you don't see the business yet, if you don't see the car yet, if you don't see the hey. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and for following me on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber, please click that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Um, so this video is all about me telling you guys um, why I started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to create a safe space where I can share with others around the world, um, especially in Jamaica, where I'm from, that um, you can achieve your goals, whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve it. There are some things that will happen to you during your lifetime that will shape the way how you shape what you become in the future and I feel like how I grew up it shaped how I turned out or how I why I am who I am right now um, so I remember sharing already how I had to my parents were poor um, would never really get lunch money when we had got school and I remember um, school uniform and books were were those were like um, things that we didn't have like other persons you know I remember when I was in sixth farm and I'm, I'm skipping out a lot of years and a lot of things that we've been through I remember when I was in sixth farm one of the most crucial points in my life I remember I didn't have my books <laughs> to use when I was in sixth farm I remember the only way I could get to do work was to go to the library and photocopy the book so that I could have them to read and to study for my CAPE exams. Um, I remember when I was in fifth form to grade 11 and um, we didn't get lunch money. If we did get lunch money, the most we could probably buy out of the lunch money was a party and a bag juice. You know, when I had friends who used to get they could afford to buy box food and patty and um, it was me and my brother and we did we weren't so fortunate and i'm gonna drop a clip here and i'm not ashamed now um of where i came from i by the way i'm from papine i'm from kentaya um get to them call it you know and i remember when i was doing my cxc this is something else that i believe shaped me and this is something that i believe i would never forget I remember when I was doing my CXC exams one day, I think it was when I was doing my physics CXC exams, the police came over to Kentaya and they were looking for a Don and a holy pagon shot. I remember the morning I was leaving out. Holy pagon shot. I couldn't sleep. I remember when I was leaving out and I was at the bus stop, the police van passed me with dead people I hung out and them somebody. Guys that was the ghetto and i mean i know what some persons go through when they grow up in the ghetto because the ghetto is not a listen great things can come from the ghetto but the ghetto is a place where you're not meant to thrive there you know the ghetto is not a 
better roses you go through some things as a get up get a girl or get a boy because that's what they call it you know but i believe great things can come from the ghetto great persons have, have come out of the ghetto you understand what i'm saying and um i remember that's where i come from and i'm gonna drop a clip here so you guys can see where i grew up um the house that i grew up in it was a it was a um two bedroom just a two bedroom it never have kitchen it never have veranda it was just two rooms and i remember um my daddy and my mom they built on um a board structure to the front and turned it into another room i remember they built on another structure and that was the kitchen and um board structure these weren't concrete it was board and um what we use as bathroom was never inside bathroom it was outside bathroom it never have no cover i remember the toilet was a pit latrine we never have no flush toilet and then someone there remember when you go in there so they use it may not be explicit guys a beer cockroach beer cockroach lizard and i mean that's what i grew up in you know and I think that is what motivated me to know to want better for myself because I feel like I felt like in those times this is not this cannot be all to life and this can be healthy and but I think when you go through rough times in your life it push you to want better for yourself you know and I think that is one of the things that shaped me as a mom to know that I don't want my son go through certain things me know why my son go through when me go through you know so i strive to be the best i can be for myself for my son for my family because somebody have to break the chain somebody have to you know do something man you know so i remember i feel like where i grew up it shaped me into the person that i am and not just where i grew up it's who i surrounded myself with a lot of persons shape help to shape me to the woman that i am today and if i start calling them now my probably not gonna done a lot of persons shaped who i am today not many of them are around no um not because they are dead or anything like that but um you know when i believe that certain people come in your life for a season and i mean when their season or their purpose has been served they are no longer necessary i mean i said them not needed but once you serve your purpose or your season has come and gone i eat that just like when we have a season for, for hurricane when it's hurricane season don't know more hurricane unless in unusual circumstances of course but you know um i believe that they serve their purpose in my life and i'm grateful for everybody that has played a role in helping me count swaby chambers to become who i am today so yeah why i started my youtube channel was to just share with people that you know matter if you grew up in a one zinc house make out a zinc it don't matter because i remember where i lived it was rat infested me live with rat and lizard and cockroach they're my siblings I live with rat roach cockroach. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And I can't tell you nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Everything is only for a season. And when you live in those kind of kind of um environments, you would think that this is what life is, but it is not. And I'm a testimony and my testament to that. It is not. There's more to life than what you're going through right now. You understand but you just have to push yourself you have to believe in you yes you have to believe in you because if you don't believe in you my dear nobody will believe in you believe in yourself trust in God and you can come out of whatever it is you can make something of yourself you can achieve your goals As a young woman growing up in the ghetto I held my head high because I, I know that not many persons what about time people to tell me say education I get you but not people not many per persons think that is true 
not many persons think that that is true that education is what will get you out but for me for me it was what got me out it might not be the same for for you for you it can be um migration for another it can be um start up you start up a business um a business owner you know it can be many different many different reasons why you can come out of it but in order to reach there you have to follow your dreams you have to go for your goals if you want to migrate man, well, man, it can be a goal you can get a work a foreign i end up got foreign you know if you want to start a business you have to start from scratch you have to put in the time put in the resources put in the money and you know get it started if it's education go to school do your work you understand so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys that it don't matter where you come from it matters what you put in what you do to get the results that you want to get what are the sacrifices that you're willing to make because in order for you to achieve certain things you know you have to make certain sacrifices what are important to you what are your priorities yeah so thank you for coming to my channel this is why i started my youtube channel because i want to share with you guys um that you have it in you to be what you want to be you have it in you to achieve what you want to achieve but the question is are you willing to do what you have to do so that you can do what needs to be done for you that is my question to you remember click the subscribe button so you don't um miss any new uploads i mean that's the notification bell but yes click the subscribe button oh and remember click the like button as well and leave a comment share this video because Somebody needs to hear that it don't matter where you come from. It matters what you do with your life. Do with your time. Bye guys. Take care. See you again. When lessons over me.